Even though No Amin lives with a dozen relatives in this cramped house in Bangkok, he's lucky to be alive. The 18-year-old nearly died on a trafficker's boat six years ago, fleeing his home in Myanmar. His uncle had to pay ransom for his release in Thailand. The situation is unbearable back in Myanmar for Rohingya. They are still trying to get out of the country, despite knowing that the journey could be deadly. Rohingya are a persecuted Muslim minority in Myanmar. Ethnic violence has forced many to flee over the last few years. Thousands falling victim to traffickers. During the Southeast Asia migrant crisis in May 2015, mass graves were discovered along the border between Thailand and Malaysia. The Thai government quickly clamped down on the trafficking routes, prompting the traffickers to abandon boats still at sea, full of Rohingya refugees and desperate migrants from Bangladesh. A new people trafficking court division was also created. Its first case began last March, the largest in Thai history. A former lieutenant general in the army is among the 103 suspects awaiting verdicts. The special division was created here at criminal court to speed up the process for these sensitive cases. That's according to the government. But some feel as though the speed of this case is suspect because of the complexity and the number of witnesses. You wouldn't expect it to be concluded within 16 months. And plus the fact that chief investigator in this case has been threatened to the point that he has to flee Thailand and now seek asylum in Australia. He also said the investigation became headless without the chief investigator. Noah Amin says there will probably be more cases in the future. As long as there is no peace and no home for the Rohingya, he says, people traffickers will profit. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.